Hello again. It's the uh, same morning here. And I got what might be my final pod test for this morning, depending on how hot this is and depending on how much time I have left before I have to go to work. It is a capsicum annuum. This is known as a Peter Pepper. Some people call them a penis chili. I don't. I just call them Peter Peppers. I think that's funnier. Uh, as you can see, they are uh, some are some are pretty uh, pronounced phallic shape. This one, the tip, it, it kind of resembles it. They're a very contorted variety. They're definitely an eccentric looking chili, if nothing else. This one's kind of got an undulating wave pattern to it, which I think is cool. They uh, definitely march into the beat of their own drum as far as the shape goes. Although the two two before this as in two sequence wise the Brazilian starfish that's a really cool looking funky variety so I mean peppers come in all kinds of different sizes and shapes and I'm glad that I was able to get some seeds for these a couple years ago and grow them out we have tried to grow these out this was the third year I tried to grow these damn things and this is the first year that I was actually able to get peppers I got a seedling that died two years ago and then last year I they just didn't germinate so yeah, Peter Pepper. We'll uh, take a look inside. They tend to have almost like a berry protrusion at the bottom. See, this almost looks like a strawberry. Because the, the folds on the bottom curl up inside the, the pepper. So, yeah, it smells pretty warm. I, I've heard conflicting reports on the heat of these. Some people say they're the heat of a habanero, which I find really hard to believe. I don't believe there's any capsicum annuum that reaches uh, 250,000 scopils. I think the Thai bird that tends to be the peak at like 125 or the, or the Pekin and Tepin family tend to be 100 and some thousand or so, but nothing anything above that. Okay, Peter Pepper. But I've also heard them that they're like 30,000 to 50,000, so cayenne-ish. Lot to two. starting to build on the top of the tongue. We'll see how it settles in in a minute here. Um, standard like mid-heat annuums I've noticed have the it's got the apple-ish when you bite into the flesh at first but then as the capsaicins work their way through the flavors of the pepper itself it lends almost like cherry-like or raspberry-like hints to it. This one is in particular with more of a cherry like almost like a cherry candy essence lingering through the that appleish burst at the beginning um these ones tend not to have as much of the perfumey or aromatic character to them it's getting fairly warm i'm sweating now from this one Whew. not an extreme burn in the mouth tip of the tongue is, is coming through in a big way and then it works its way back. No. Yeah, a little bit in the throat. It's mainly the tip and underneath my tongue. They're really starting quickly as I'm saying this. 
starting to focus and become kind of stingy. Lots of drool going on. I can still feel the sweat coming on too. <coughs> I've already had a little bit of a cough going, so it's... Ooh. Yeah, this one is more heat-inducing with the perspiration here and the drool than it is with the burn itself. The burn is fairly oh, stingy. Top, whole top of the tongue now, not just the tip. Like, if it starts underneath my tongue and kind of wraps around the tip all the way to the back. There's like a sheet of stinging nettles, basically, on my tongue now. Gums are starting to hurt a little bit too, actually. And the lips are glowing now. Roof of the mouth. Eh, it's there, but it's not as much as the tongue and the, and the gums and lips. A little burn in the throat, like, no mid-range. Right around my Adam's apple, a little bit below is where it, it picks up again. And then faint trail all the way down. Yeah, I'd probably put them around 30, 30 40,000 range. You know, cayenne. Um, I know some Cayennes can reach 90,000, but most of them aren't going to be that hot. <laughs> Lots of drool. It's, uh, yeah, keep, keeping strong right in the th top of the tongue and underneath it. That's like the predominant sensation. It kind of flows out and then recedes almost like a tide. <clears throat> almost like a tide. And uh, wait, so I can feel it coming down more now into here as it's digesting. So yeah. That one, that one definitely got me sweating. So, Peter Peppers, uh, they got a pretty good heat to them, yeah. It's, it's tends to be more on the tongue and faintly in the throat, but mostly tongue and then gums and, and a little bit on the lips more than anything else, especially. Yeah, this one is definitely not a, not a throat burn. Sides of the tongue are starting to come through a little bit more now. And the drool, and I'm still sweating a little bit from this one. He's definitely... For their lack of heat, <clears throat> compared to some hotter ones I've had, these definitely produced a lot more perspiration. I think it may be because of the stingy burn. More uh, calcium ions are getting um, going on through uh, to the pain, through the pain receptors. So uh, maybe that's why they're sweating more. The more endorphins are kicking in. But in any case, yeah, I gotta have a nice uh, capsaicin buzz heading to work this morning. So awesome. Uh, thanks for tuning into this one. I recommend checking these ones out. They're a really productive plant. Um, they tend to be more bushy, but they still produce those big, bigger peppers, and they produce quite a few of them. So yeah, Peter Pepper. Thumbs up on the flavor, on the heat. Um, thin skin and flesh, and very easy to chew. The seeds get hard, so I'd recommend, obviously, de-seeding them. But other than that, yeah, chomp away, or dice them up and toss them on a pizza or something. Good stuff. Thank you again. See you next time.